Okay, so I started working on my code for the main timeline. If we come over here, we can see that the first one is set, setting the variable stage with the value of the canvas, so the one and the same. And then I've got a bunch of stops over here. These are all just stops, fairly simple. So I need to name these. So first one in here is gonna be called home. Next one is going to be called red. And next one in here is supposed to be green, but I screwed up in here. I, I put the blue out of whack, but I'll still call this green. And the next one over here, this one's supposed to be blue, not green. Okay, so I'll flip these. Here's a nice little trick. I'm selecting both of these keyframes together. And while they're selected, I'm going to right click and just do a reverse. So now green is right here and blue is where it's supposed to be. And it matches its name for the frame label and they're all lined up and working correctly. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now would be a good time to save this. And I'll go ahead and save this as uh, MC Pop. I hit OK. OK, so into the movie clip we go. This one's only got a single stop. I'm just lazy. I'm going to copy the stop over there. And now I'm going to come in here and type in my variable for my boolean, var. v is going to be equal to false. And Make sure you declare this with the variable option, otherwise you can't screw up the code. We, we don't want this to be a global Boolean variable. We only want it to work inside this movie clip. So if you run into any problems with the uh, buttons not working quite right, you may want to double check on that. Okay, so now we want to assign our value or assign our, our home button a value. So while that's selected, I'm going to go ahead and open up my code snippets that's selected. Open up this, go to event handler and mouse click event. Open that up, drops it into the actions layer. Get rid of the gray here. And in here, I'm going to type in this period play, open and close parentheses, semicolon. And I'm also going to want it to go to a particular location on the stage. So this is going to be uh, stage period go to and with a capital A stop with a capital S open and close parentheses. And in here I'm going to put home. Now this is the way it would normally work if I were only clicking on the one button. But I'm setting this up so that I can copy and paste these lines and use them on my other buttons. So the last thing that's going to happen on the other buttons is the B value is going to be set to its opposite of B. So the exclamation point makes a positive into a negative and vice versa. Okay, so all of this looks correct. Again, I'm only worried about making values for the other buttons. Oh, you know what I forgot? I should call this underscore H. And then this name belongs here. OK, so I've got a function for the home. And it's the same name here, H here, home there. So now I'll go ahead and select all of this. Actually, I'll do a couple of more returns. Select it with the returns, copy that, paste to replace it, paste for red, paste for green, paste for blue. Now I'll just rename them. So this is going to be R, R, and R. Oops. And this is going to say red. This in here is going to be green. becomes G and G and G. 
and then this one on here will become blue and blue blue and blue okay so blue green red home everything looks okay now we need to fix this guy over here okay so I don't want it on the first click I only want the white button to play I don't want it to take me anywhere on the main timeline uh, I only want this button to work that takes me to the home is when I get to the middle of the animation so I'm doing an if B in other words if B is true then take me to where I want to be okay and I'll clean up my code here so that's all it's going to do if B is true it'll run this so the first time out B is false after I run this it doesn't do this it does the play but then it runs into this guy and it reverses the value of B to true so when I get to the middle of the pop-up menu I'm going to have the value B true so if I happen to click again on the home button then it'll play it'll finish out the animation and it'll also send me to the home label on the frame these are here because I still need this to go back to negative or uh, false after I set this thing up so what's going to happen here is that if I click on here it takes me over to the middle it converts the B to true and if I leave by the red button I don't want this staying true because the next time I click on the pop-up menu to pop it open it's going to take me to the home scene and I don't want that so I need to make sure that all of these buttons including the white button convert the value of B to false on its way out of the movie clip so that'll work that way so everything looks correct to me let's give it a shot and see what happens so in here we'll open this up we'll try red first and it closes open that up we'll try blue and it closes I think the animation's a little slow but th that's a, a a refinement issue but for now the it's working as advertised so that takes me back home that gets me to red and so I can navigate through the through the window that way okay so that takes care of that uh, that's the setup and uh, the file is not meant to be the project unto itself this is just to set up the pop-up menu within a movie clip so now's a good time to save that and uh, hopefully you might get some use out of this tutorial